Howdy ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Dead and Tools team. We're talking about air compressors. We're gonna find the best bang for the buck for you because it's always about the right tool for the job. And we did a video about this about four years ago. People thought it was really helpful, but here's the thing, a lot has changed in four years. The whole market's been tossed on its head. Let's find out what's out there, what's the best bang for the buck for you. Of course, as I said, it's the right tool for the job. Here's a handy dandy little chart, it gives you kind of an idea. It's not, uh, the tank capacity is kind of questionable. It's more about the CFM at the PSI you need. If you don't understand it, PSI is how hard something can push. P, uh, CFM is how much it can how much it can push. Like, can it can do one, one gallon per minute? Can it do 20 gallons per minute? PSI is how hard it's pushing that. One of them may push 90 PSI at one gallon per minute. Another one will push 20 gallons at 90 PSI. So you got to have those both lined up with what you need. Now, uh, Harper Freight has a handy dandy little uh, quiz thing that'll let you take here and you go through and you answer and you say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm doing paint spraying uh, next. And then it goes through and says, and you, anyway, you get the idea and it'll help you find the right kind of size. You don't have to buy it from Harper Freight. You can go somewhere else, but it gives you an idea of what size and, uh, and PSI and CFM you're looking for. Now, for real quick, I want to call this out. If you're just going to be doing inflating stuff like, uh, you know, inflatables, if you're going to be doing, uh, you know, air mattresses and pool toys and any of the big puffy, you know, floaty kind of stuff, just get something like this. These things are stupid simple. They're 20 bucks. Uh, it'll plug into a cigarette lighter. It'll plug into an AC outlet. There's no battery on board. They're super fast. They're super easy. And they just get the job done. They don't cost a lot of money and they just always work. We have a couple of these around the house at any given time. The other option is if you just want to inflate the tires like on your, on, or, or sports equipment, you want to inflate a, uh, you know, basketball, a football, uh, bike tire, motorcycle tire, small to medium sized cars. This one will work. I have looked at a lot of these lithium ion powered uh, air compressor things. Uh, and there's thousands of them out there that become incredibly popular. And Fantic, honestly, I think mess, makes the best quality one out there right now. They, they do. Uh, it, it's, it just is what it is. I have tested a whole bunch of them. Now, full disclosure, Fantic has sent me some in the past. If you've seen some, if you think I'm a little biased, go and look at some of my other stuff. I have had companies pay me to review their tools, their, air, their inflators. And I've told you exactly what I think about it. And it wasn't great. Fantic, they sent me a couple for free and I really like them. And I'll tell you what, it's what I carry in my truck. Okay. Well, not this one, because this one will not do the higher end PSI kind of stuff. If you got something bigger, this is what we use for my truck and for my RV. It'll do up to 80. It'll do, this says 150 PSI. I, I don't know about that, but it'll definitely do the, uh, the 80 PSI in my truck and in my RV. Now, maybe for those like the, you got the little, those road tires for, for bikes that they go really high, but they're not a lot of air. They can probably handle that kind of stuff as well. All right, so anyway, and if you do get one of these, get get the case for it, because having the, the little bits and parts flop around, I wish they came with the case, they don't, but at the quality of that one, I, it's worth buying the case for it. All right, let's talk about bargain level, entry level air compressors, just the small little things. They have pancake styles and they have the hot dog. I prefer the hot dog style because it doesn't take as much room in my shop, all right? It's it, it's more linear and taller than it is flat, wide flat. Although, I'll be honest, if you look at one of these, the, where's the pancake one? There it is. They're at the same height. I would much rather have the hot dog. They're the same thing. There's no difference. Just the pancake style was around for a long time, so people like that style. Uh, I, I would go with this one. The McGraw is a real step up over the old Century pneumatics, which were super screaming loud. Now, I'm not going to say this thing is quiet. 84 db, dBA, though, I mean, that anything over 80, and you're going to look at hearing it, uh, damage. So I would definitely uh, have the door open, maybe wear some ear protection. Don't run it constantly. Uh, just keep it away from you. How about that? But it will get the job done, and it's 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks. It'll do 0 0.6 CFM. It'll inflate a tire. It'll dust some stuff off. It'll run an airbrush. It's a light duty kind of thing. It's over at Harbor Freight. Check them out. Next up, we got Rigid. Now this is more getting more into the nailer kind of situation. That's specifically what these kinds are used as pancake compressors like this. As you can see, it's got two outputs on it. This is definitely, I, I'll be honest, for a long time, Rigid was a real go-to for nail guns. And... I still think they're good, but if I this I would call this like your prosumer to value pro kind of level. If you were serious about running nail guns all day long, 
I would take a look at the Metabo tank. This thing is a six gallon, 200 PSI. It is designed for nothing more than running nails. That's all it's does. Will it do the other stuff? Of course it will do the other stuff. But if you are gonna be serious, like I'm working on a house, I'm working on a job site, we're doing uh, an add-on or something like this, this is the air compressor you want. It'll run all day long. It won't even think about, won't even ask for a coffee break. It'll be fine. All right, now let's, another category is similar size, but quiet. You don't want to be offended by it. We got a couple choices for quiet air compressors. The Cobalt Quiet Tech. I've taken a look at this. It's pretty. It's pretty quiet. It, it's really nice. It's well built. One hundred fifty nine dollars. That's on sale. Twenty dollars off from one seventy nine. Now the other option here is the Fortress over at Harbor Freight. Now Harbor Freight sent this to me years ago. How quiet is this? This is the wait. Is, is it on? It's that kind of quiet. It's that level of, of quiet. And it's two gallon, 135 PSI, 2.1 CFM, 60 dBA. I mean, you can hear it if you if you pay attention to it, but a lot of times it'll kick in. I, I got to worry about this one because I'll, I'll leave it on and I'll forget it. You know, I'll have my airline, I'll have like a little bit of leak in it and it'll go down and kick back in. I'm like, there's a noise. I think there's a noise. Am I hearing the noise? Oh yeah, the air compressor's running. I got to turn it off. Um, it, it's a fantastic air compressor. You can carry it back and forth. You can do a ton of stuff with it. If you're looking for a smaller air compressor, a quiet air compressor, I can't say enough about this one. But again, take it for what's worth. They did send it to me for free. Uh, and I've just been I, at 190. I, I wouldn't buy it at 190. Wait for a sale. That's the rule of Harbor Freight. Don't ever buy it. Wait for a coupon. Wait for a sale, right? They, they happen every month or every other month. Uh, if you if you're looking for a professional grade one, something that's gonna gonna last, you're gonna take with you, haul around. You can toss them back. You don't have to be gentle with. I'm gonna look at the Dewalt here. This is the Dewalt air compressor, 200 psi, max oil free. Now all of these have been oil free. Now I did say a long time ago, you can find me saying that I would never use an oil free air compressor. Times change, and man has to be a man. Admit when he's wrong. The tech has caught up. All right, the, the Teflon coating or whatever they put in, non-stick non pan, whatever it is they're putting in there, it just works. Now, will an oiled air compressor last longer? Probably. Here's the way I look at it is if I'm, if I'm going to be running this thing every single day, I might look for an oiled compressor. But here's the thing. You're not going to get a super quiet oil, oilless compressor or oil, yeah, oiled compressor because the having the oil in there creates a gap and it creates sound. Okay, so all the super quiet stuff is all oil free. That's just the way it is. All the super high air compressor uh, power stuff seems to be oil free, except on the super big industrial kind of stuff. It, they can just do more with that kind of tech. It's just the way it is. Uh, the benefit of OLS is you can get quieter, you can get higher PSI, and there's just no maintenance. If you're going to be running your compressor like, hey, I'll run it once a week, a couple times a week. Uh, I might go months at a time without using it. Get the OLS. If you're like, I'm going to be using it every day, all the time, consider getting the oiled unless, of course, as I said, you're looking for uh, whisper quiet kind of stuff. All right, now we jump up. We were talking about smaller up, two gallons kind of stuff. What if we jump up to, say, a 10-gallon or even a 20-gallon air compressor? Well, this is where I'm going to upset a lot of people and break a lot of hearts. You don't need one. You just don't. They're, let's take a look at that chart again. All right, they're talking about like, oh, well, in that 10 to 20-gallon, 11 to 25, we're looking at ratchets, impact wrenches, and air, air hammers. Here's the deal, though. In that 10, 20, uh, almost 25 they don't hit the CFM you need. They just don't. You're you're gonna, you're lucky if you're getting over four, and they're like, well, impact wrench here, they're saying six. Ratchet, they're saying six. Air hammers at four. But the thing is, you're going to want to run that impact wrench, or you're going to want to run something higher. You're going to want to run the die grinder in the, in the sander if you're doing the automotive cutoff wheels. You're not going to be happy at four. If you're running an impact wrench that's rated for six at four, you are literally throwing money away because you're not getting the full power out of that thing. Buy a cordless. Buy a budget cordless impact at that point. Get yourself a little tiny air compressor and get cord get cordless or corded you know tools like that. This Harbor Freight, which is a go-to basic prosumer kind of uh, impact wrench, 800 foot pounds. It's actually for the money. It's a fantastic impact wrench. But we look at it's not even as good as their top of the line. If we come down here, it's saying it wants 5 CFM at, at 90 PSI. You're just not going to get that out of 99% of the 10 to 20 gallon air compressors out there. So I'm sorry, but basically what has happened with cordless tech 
and even some corded stuff is they've made 10 to 20 gallon air compressors obsolete. Hate on me in the comments if you want. You can you can scream at, at the moon, you can howl at the sun, I know, but it doesn't matter. There just there just isn't much use case for it. What you need to do is you need to jump up to something like this. Now, Harbor Freight sent this to me a while ago, and we've got it here in the shop right over here. I use it all the time. It's my go-to large air compressor. I keep the quiet air compressor at home, honestly, because I either have one of the cordless, like the Fantic, in my truck at all time, or at the shop I have this, and at home I've got the quiet air compressor, or I've got the, the battery or the AC-powered inflators. This thing is fantastic. 27 gallons, 200 PSI. 5.1 CFM at 90 PSI, 25% quieter than something. I'm not sure what. It's it's not ridiculous. It's not so loud it hurts your ears. Uh, at least just steam. And I've listened to too much rock music as a kid. Too much time out on the firing range. My uh, my the num my number one spoken uh, word of the day is usually what. Uh, and it, yeah, it happens as you get older. But the fact of the matter is. This thing just works, and for a shop size uh, air compressor, it's a great choice. But if you want more, you got the uh, the Craftsman here, 30 gallon, 175 psi. This is coming in at 6.2 cfm for a home gamer garage, uh, even a prosumer. If you're running your own small shop or something, this is a great choice. It's six hundred dollars out. Granted, right now it's on sale for hundred dollars off, and it ends at the end of the week. But that is a go-to air compressor right there. That is fantastic. A lot of the Craftsman stuff that came in, they knocked the cobalt around when they when they you know changed over and stuff. But this is a fantastic air compressor. Now again, if you're looking to go something more professional, something you want to make sure it lasts and whatnot, this is about the same. I think it's six cfm at at, uh, at 90 psi, 155 psi on it. Uh, Nine hundred dollars. It's thirty six dollars fifty eight cents off. Who, who? Who does decided that sale? Anyway, the point of the matter is, DeWalt makes some fantastic air compressors. And if you don't know, I, I'm pretty sure that DeWalt doesn't even make the air. I think they OEM it from somebody else. The same with Craftsman and, and all that stuff. Uh, they're they're both solid air compressors. They're made uh, with in the USA with global components, uh, if, if that's your thing. But uh, those are the ones I would go to. I, I think you got to skip the 10, 20, jump up to, or yeah, jump up to the 25 to 30 gallon. Now, if you want to get really serious and you're looking for a big air compressor, I, I cannot tell you how many people have told me over the years, Quincy is where it's at. And I've looked, looked at Quincy and I got to tell you, they're for the bigger compressors, they're just, the rock solid. Okay, this, they make some smaller stuff. I've not been super excited about it. The people I've talked to with the smaller air compressors, not great. Anything like 30 gallons and below. But if you're looking for the bigger ones, that's kind of where they started. It's where they made their bread and butter there. Uh, you can't beat it. 230 volt here, 60 gallon vertical air compressor, $2,000 on this, which is not bad for that kind of air compressor. It really isn't. Now, uh, if I haven't talked about your brand of air compressor here, there, there's a reason. It's not that I haven't heard about it. It's not that I don't know about it. I go to all the trade shows. I talk to literally thousands, tens of thousands of people over the years. Uh, and uh, it, it just, there's, if I haven't mentioned your air compressors, because there's a better deal out there than that. There's somebody who's making a better one or it fill in that 10 to 20 range, which just isn't any we needs anymore. All right. We're going to talk now about the brands you don't want to buy. Brands that have kind of fallen by the wayside and just aren't the same kind of quality. Campbell Hosfeld. I'm sorry. Now they're bigger industrial stuff, maybe good, but they've they've OEM. That's what happens to a lot of these big brands. They OEM out the the cheaper stuff. They they let somebody else put their name on it. It no pass on this. Goodyear. Oh, good grief! You see these in Walmart all the time. Pass. Uh, Briggs and Stratton. Pass. No name. If you see somebody with a no name, that means they've OEM the motor. They're, they've just slapped it together. They're trying to make a quick buck. Pass. And used air compressors, brothers and sisters, listen to me. You do not want a used air compressor. The prices of air compressors come down so much. Think about it. You can get that Harbor Freight one for 50 bucks. You do not need a used air compressor. There are more problems than they're worth. These tanks rust, all right? The aluminum ones crack. The, the steel ones rust. And you're putting pressure in that. And you know what that turns it into? Well, it turns it into a word that I can't say because I'll get demonetized here on on, uh, on the old YouTube. But basically, it translates into boom, all right? Look at this. This is a room aboard ship where a compressor went. Anything, think about it. It's compressing. 
Anytime you compress something, something's pushing against it. And if it's rusted from the inside, if it's cracked, these, these tanks have expiration dates on them for a reason. Use old, rusty, nasty air compressors. They're just not worth it. They're not worth your life or limb or eyeballs. You can't grow back an eyeball. You don't want to risk that kind of thing, okay? And don't even get me started about you fools who are using PVC pipe to run your airlines. Regular air compressor airlines are cheap. They're not that expensive. You do not need to run PVC. Have you not seen what PVC looks like when it shatters? Slivers, this big giant sliver shattering, flying across your shop. It's ugly, all right? Just don't do it. Well, there you go. There you have it. There's your best air compressors for the buck for what's going on now in 2023. You don't agree with me. It's okay because you have the right to be wrong. Fight me in the comments. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.